Hello, greetings, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to Ignite India. I hope everyone's doing great. This is examination time. We all are tense about the upcoming NIFT and NID examinations. General knowledge carries a good weightage of marks. When it comes to general knowledge of fashion, there is a lot to study. But one of the most important topic is fashion designers and their works. It's important to learn about their collection, characters, textiles, types of fabrics and embroideries used, awards won by them, and many more. And this is what we'll be talking about in this video. So without any further ado, let's proceed. So first, we'll be talking about five well-established and popular fashion designers of India. We have Tarun Tahiliani. Tarun Tahiliani has made a niche of his own in the Indian fashion world. Mumbai-born Tarun Tahiliani is famous for his Kotar bridal gowns. So in 1987, Tarun's first multi-designer store in Symbol opened in the city of Mumbai with designer Rohit Khosla's help, followed by Tahiliani Design Studio in 1990. The store has named to his own label Ahilian along with five other designers. He rose to fame in 1995 when Jamima Khan wore his outfit for her wedding with Pakistani cricketer Imran Khan. It was a traditional blue Muslim dress embellished with pearls. Although he is known as a versatile designer, producing a number of lines including accessories, diffusion and Predo Potter, he is best known for his bridal Kotar lines. Tarun's designs are sold all around the globe today in high-end high -end department stores of Australia, US, Japan and Middle East. Now let's talk about some of his collections. Uh, his collections are showcased internationally, one of them is Kumpak. This is a ready-to-wear collection. It was inspired by the traditional Mahakumbh Mela, which included outfits designed with an incredibly amazing color palette of sunset tones like amber, subtle rust, saffron, deep red with hues of aubergine, pink, blue, and black. For Tarun, Kumbh Mela is something where our true Indians not touched by anything. It's primordial. His gel t-shirts are a speciality. This one is from his SS19 Egypt inspired collection. He was inspired to make these when he went to a Sadhguru satsang where volleyball was being played and women were wearing jewel t-shirts. Let's talk about the fabrics and pricing. So as you can see in the table, uh, the lehenga ranges from 1 lakhs to 5 lakhs, sari ranges from 40,000 to 4 lakhs and anarkali from 50,000 to 5 lakhs. His creations include menswear, womenswear and accessories, but dominantly anarkali, sari and lehengas are his niche. This is a pre-draped grey crinkled knit concept sari with embroidered panel highlighted with diamonds. Fabric used here are crepe jersey in blouse, Italian tulle and textured crinkled net in the entire body and it cost repeat 43,900. This is an Ari embroidered beige colored lehenga highlighted with pearls paired with an embroidered blouse and dupatta accentuated with tassel detail. Fabric used here is Italian tulle and it cost 1,64,900. Men's kurta ranges from 20,000 to 1 lakh. This one is black Shanghai tang long coat with frog buttons paired with kurta and straight cut pants. Fabric used here is silk and tulle satin and it cost Rs 60,400. Next up we have Manish Malhotra. Uh, so his clothes have a hint of Indian traditions coupled with fashion sense. According to him, what works for our Indian craft is the mix of craftsmanship, culture and a touch of modernity. His clothes reflect the contemporary India by showcasing our traditional art forms like chicken curry, embroidery, banarsi work and Indian motifs while creating silhouettes suitable for modern, empowered women. At the age of 25, he made his debut into Bollywood with the film Swarg in 1990. He designed dress for Juhi Chawla. This dress was used in the song Kaise Kate Din. It is a chanderi silk pink salwar suit with beige colored dupatta and orange and uh, golden zardozi and mirror work at the front. The look is embellished with pearl jewelry. In 1993, film Gumbra, he designed dress for Shri Devi. In this picture, she is seen in a fuchsia outfit featuring black thread work on neckline. The ensemble was paired with 
chunky black boots while smoky eyes and pink stars added the finishing touches. In 1995, he won the Filmfare Award for costume design for film Rangila. The film was about survival of true friendship in the glitz of glamour. Her clothes were believable, yet very glamorous. They were a reflection of the changing society of the Western dominance over our culture. Urmila's knotted tops and hot pants kick-started a crazy, yet gorgeous trend among teens. This killer combo of tiny flowing skirt and umbrella inspired bustier in pristine white was a dress to remember. Indian fashion affectionados went gaga over this hot sleeveless red dress which hogged the movie posters. The brilliant use of chiffon and an asymmetric look makes it stand out. Since then, he has worked as costume designer in 70 Bollywood films. In 2010, he won Filmfare Award South for costume design in Tamil science fiction film Entheran in English Robot. 57 costumes were designed for Ashwarya. This dress is based on Mexican tribal dress that was used during filming of Kilimanjaro segment. It has printed scarlet chiffon fabric with sequins and tribal design all over the dress. It is sleeveless on one side and hanging sleeve on the other. A golden wired belt and Roman gladiator sandals with feathers are used. The look is completed with blue stone bangles and metallic chumkas with a white feather on head. The song was filmed in Incan city of Machu Picchu, Peru. The visual appearance of Chitti was based on G.I. Joe action figures. For the hero version of Chitti, copper suit and green colored lenses were used. Oakley beard was used to give it a more mature look. For his villain version, leather jacket and brown lenses were used. His hair was spiked and a silver streak in the middle is made of yak hair. Let's talk about his fabric and price. His designs in, for men, women's wear include lehengas, saris, gowns, crop tops, skirts, kurtas, sets and tunics. For women, men's wear it includes jackets, sets, kurtas, sherwanis, shirts. Jewelries include earrings, necklaces. The given table shows us the fabrics and embroideries used by him in different categories of clothes. This is a fawn tulle gown with a deep neckline and a slight trail. It has multicolored 3D flats and sequin embellishments on yoke. It is of Rs. 1,25,000. Kashmiri threadwork is his signature style and he has been consistent in encouraging craftsmen to put the work on global center stage. This is a ballerina pink front open Kashmiri kurta with sequin highlights. It is paired with ballerina pink net Kashmiri dupatta with fringes and pink charged pants. The given table showcases the fabrics and embroideries in his menswear categories and their prices. This is a powder pink raw silk sherwani with ivory threadwork paired with ivory churidhar. Up next, we have a very famous duo of fashion designers, Abu Jani and Sandeep Khosla. Contemporary styles and the revival of lay-gone works of art moulded neatly into modern fashion brocade. This is what Abu Jani and Sandeep Khosla are all about. The duo has made it to the fashion circuit with their sheer talent and inventive potentials of a designer. The boys, as the duo are famously known, have made the ethnic apparels with a fresh flair of trends that comes on year after year. Sandeep Khosla, after completing his college, joined his family business of leather and export Later, he decided to shift to Delhi to pursue his passion and there he set up a small boutique, Limelight. Soon, he shifted to Mumbai and started working as a film costume designer, Zezex Bhatena. Abu Jani also started working with Zezex Bhatena and assisted him in designing outfits for various movies. The duo met with each other on 15th August 1986, just by chance. Both being in the similar situation, sympathized each other and came together and launched their very first boutique, Mata Hari, in Mumbai. Their very first collection was based on natural fabrics. Both got popular enough after Jaya Bachchan and Dimple Kabadia and Parmeshwar Godrej became their clients. In the year 1988, Abu and Sandeep launched their new label, Jashan, to sell their garments. It was showcased at a Save the Children charity ball fundraiser in London. They created Design History. Uh, the title was a near amalgam of their name. They remained 
true to their principle of pure fabrics and complex embroidery backed by an unparalleled maximalist vision as shown in the image. Now let's talk about some of the notable works. The duo designed the costumes for the characters including Kareena Kapoor, Sonam Kapoor, Swara Bhaskar and Siksha Talsania in the film Vere the Wedding. The colors in movie ranges from romantic pastels to rich jewel tones and high on drama metallics. When it comes to silhouettes, they are as varied as the shade card. For fabrics, the mood was sensuous. Organza, taffeta and silk were the prime fabrics used. The duo has worked together for films like Pyar Ka Saya, Devdas, The Hero 2003 and Umrao Jaan 2006. They won the National Film Award for Best Costume Design in 2002 movie Devdas. Madhuri's Ghagra, created by the duo, is remembered for its meticulous design. The handcrafted Ghagra featured mirrors embedded in Zardozi and was made by a team of highly skilled artisans. It weighed 10 kgs and set and was completed in two months. It was featured at the Fabric of India exhibition held at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London in 2015. In this image, Shah Rukh looks positively phenomenal in a chicken embroidered kurta paired with a shawl and shuridar. The given table showcases the fabrics and embroideries used by them in their clothes. And it also illustrates the price ranges of them. This is a pastel green round v-neck kurta based in Georgette with mirror work detailing all over. It comes with a pair of matching churidar in Georgette. It is paired with a Georgette mirror work border dupatta. Its price is 1,22,000. Next up we have Anamika Khanna. Her Tikon Indian clothing incorporates style influences from all over the world. Her capes, her dhoti pants and her jackets have brought a whole new wave of modern Indian style. Self-taught in fashion designing, Anamika's renders wears with style and fashion began by winning the Damania Fashion Award in the year 1995, a prestigious Indian fashion design accolade. She had used a sewing machine to juxtapose textiles and textures, both flat and uneven, chiffon and woven without cutting anything to create a garment that won the award. Her collection at HDIL Kotar Week 2008 received critical acclaim being hailed as one of the best collections seen on ramp. In this image, Sapna Kumar, Jassi Randhava and Sunam Kapoor present a creation by designer Anamika Khanna on the fourth day of HDIL Kotar Week. The first one features a unitard jumpsuit with a long golden floor length coat and honeycomb like embroidery. The second one is an off-white organza frog with raised collar and net bottom along with triangular cuts on sleeve and, and golden embroidery. Third is a golden cowl shaped gown embellished with zardozi with a top adorned with mukesh work. She showcased her Lakme Summer Resort 2011 with a marked and rajanous touch. She stunned the audience by adding a sense of masculinity to an ethnic women wear collection. This is a white mal kurta splashed with chicken work teamed with fluid pajamas and discreet shimmering embroidery on hem. The second day of Indian Film Festival of Melbourne 2015 coincided with 69th Indian Independence Day. The gala celebrations ended with the glitz and glamour celebrating theme of equality through a spectacular fashion show by Anamika and others honoring best of Indian cinema. The proceedings from fashion show went to the Royal Children's Hospital as aid to those under treatment. Sonam Kapoor in garment by Anamika in this image is an off-white gown with golden motifs and laces throughout. The blouse was heavy embroidery with a multicolored deep neckline. The tulle dupatta used here to complete the look. You all can refer to the given table for fabrics, embroideries used and the price ranges of her creations. Mm, this is a black cape with skirt set with ari, pearl and thread work. The fabric used is organza and price is 1,99,900. This is a jade green jacket set embroidered with thread pearls and zari fabric used in silk and contains an embroidered draped skirt. Its price is 
so this is the end of it next up we have five budding and young indian fashion designers first we have pallavi singhi she graduated from nef new delhi uh, and a diploma in accessory design she gained experience at sabhi sachi kotor from 2004 to 2006 major projects handled by her were styling and accessories for milan fashion week in 2004 costume designing for the movie black fashion week collections are the nair sisters and the frog princess export for browns and production for stores in 2006 she launched her own eponymous label verb Verb is a women's wear brand established in January 2006. It's best known for its avant-garde spirit in clothing. It's a compilation of twisted classical traditions, outlandish color combination, quirky details, textures, usual embroidery motifs, and sharp tailoring. Verb offers diversity among the line from a multitude of couture styles to basic casual designs. The given table showcases the fabrics patterns used on them and the price ranges of her clothes this is a margot pleated maxi skirt it is a timelessly feminine silhouette updated with an eye catching mix of prints paired with a slouchy knit top and low heels fabrics used here is viscose uh, there are pleated details and it has a side zip its price is rupees 2500 Next up we have Asmita Marwa hailing from Hyderabad Asmita Marwa is a sustainable fashion label that has been creating and manufacturing garments in house using ethical norms and practices recycling upcycling and sustainable fashion is what her design house believes in She has established herself as a brand that has given resort wear a whole new dimension keeping sustainability and eco-friendly design at the heart and soul of the label After graduation not many options were available at the time in India soon she got married but she continued conducting and hosting workshops and exhibitions every 6 to 8 months eventually realizing that her products were sellable she started building her label fall winter 29 at lakme fashion week her collection was called maya and her jaggery knots inspired by the painter gustav klimt the range of garments were created for the women of the 21st century who wants creation that makes her sign or share of all eyes using her native telugu calligraphy she added it to the sides of ivory pants and sleeves of long fluid blouses the tartan checks moved from smoke dresses empire line tunics pants churidars and even to cholis and borders on off white sarees the banaras zari weave in brown with gold motifs was a constant for the pinafore skirts and blouses the look was very feminine very rustic and trendy with a fluid silhouette for nearly all the garments right from the blouses tied skirts tied trousers pinafores jumpsuits and dresses layering appeared for most garments while a mix of prints colors and fabrics gave an interesting ethnic look to western wear her collections had that touch of delicate fashionable maya touch that will appeal to women who want to dress in clothes that spell not only comfort but offer a lot of style and elegance the given table showcases the fabrics and price ranges of her clothes this is salmon pink long kurta shirt with shimmer sun pin detailing on pockets and tape detailing for armhole and yoke the fabric is voile and neck type is chinese collar button at the front the price is 12880 Next up we have Surili Goel. She is one of the newest Bollywood fashion designers in India. She has designed clothing for various Bollywood movies. Her collection has also been featured in various fashion shows including Lakme Fashion Week 26. She studied fashion designing at FIDM Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising Los Angeles in Demo- December 23. She started her own line of garments titled Surili. Lakme Fashion Week 26. She made her debut In 2006 in Lakme Fashion Week her collection was titled Roses Forever. The Roses Forever collection features various modes of women in love from innocence, shyness, sensuousness to passion. The collection of Surili Goel features dresses, bright colors with funky designs, skirts and stylish cut pants. Fabrics and pricing uh, the table gives the same. And this is a cream Rajasthani shell work saree with tie up blouse. It is designed in 
sole net fa- bold net fabric studded with hand embroidered beads tassels and dazzling shells the blouse features a daring open back design with tie up accents it is paired with a cream lycra petticoat its price is 1,4762 rupees up next we have agnimitra paul agnimitra paul is a fashion designer born in asansol west bengal after schooling from Lorento Convent, she did an MBA course from Jadavpur University and got a diploma in fashion technology from Birla Institute of Liberal Arts and Management Sciences. Talking about her style, she also created her own label called Inga. Her signature style is about five statements, values, differentiation, simplicity, modernity, in gender and cultural ethos. She distinguished herself through her use of colors, innovative designs and custom formulations. She wants to prove through her collection that women look glamorous with a western look but also confident with an Indian touch for each piece of clothing. Her initial career began by designing for different Bollywood celebrities such as Shri Devi. She has also worked with Isha Deol, Shonal Rawat, KK, KK Menon, Sonali Kulkarni, Vinay Patek and Parveen Dabas for 2008 Bollywood movie Vaya Darjeeling. For Lakme Fashion Week Summer Resort 2013, she designed lovely creations. For her collection, she used heavy and colorful prints for her sarees. Currently, she is the president of BJP Mahila Morcha West Bengal. Talking about her fabrics and pricing, her tops, regular fit dresses, skirt, kurta, uses cotton, georgette, chiffon, khadi, uh, and they range from 3000 to 20,000 INR. Uh, this is a regular fit top of beige color made of cotton it's sleeveless with neck style v uh, its fit type is regular and its price is 5936 inr next up we have anita shroff adhajaniya anita has forged a highly unique path without the backing of formal fashion education having initially pursued as a bachelor's degree in political science adhajaniya who formerly formative years were spent surrounded by influences from her grandfather her spoke tailoring shop began for forming a career in styling soon after graduating working with maybelline and as a costume designer for bollywood films such as cocktail dhoom 2 everybody says i'm fine and love aajkal she also notably holds the role as dipika padukone's personal stylist kim kardashian for the march 2018 issue of vogue she has styled also for Karina Kapoor, Anushka Sharma, and Kushi Kapoor. Anita's dresses are royal in nature. Here, in the first picture of Karina, wearing a sensual red miniskirt dress with flowing sleeves. Second is a knotted strapless top with flowing long skirt made of organza. Third is a chiffon skirt and trousers worn by Anushka. And with that, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching.